Engineering simulation is the exciting process of building models of your robots and testing them in a virtual environment. When the Wright brothers were designing their Wright Flyer, there were no equations to predict the aerodynamics of wings. They had to use a build and break strategy and tested over 200 wings in their wind tunnel. When NASA was preparing to send a man to the moon, they could not afford to use a build and break strategy. They had to develop predictive methods. Virtual prototyping is a predictive method where equations that predict parts behavior have been programmed into the computer. Sketches of new parts can therefore be turned into models and virtual forces applied to those models to predict how they will bend and move in the real world. The process for virtual prototyping that you will follow involves building a model of your robot using a library of pre-modeled parts. This library of parts is like a virtual kit of parts that you will use to assemble your virtual robot. You will use a CAD software package called Creo Elements Pro and assembly commands to create your robot model. Once the model is ready, you can then test it to see how it will react to static forces and how it will move dynamically. Here is a quick example from industry. The CAD model we're opening is the Santa Cruz V10 downhill race bike. This is a very specific mountain bike for downhill racing. It is outfitted with a collection of components from another company called SRAM. Santa Cruz and SRAM work together and in this bike build you can see some specific components SRAM has created. As we pan around, you can see some of the details in the rear derailleur and the crank. Okay, as we see the 3D assembly, there is definitely some advantages to working in 3D. One of them is being able to take apart all of the components and understand what the assembly is comprised of. Here you can see this exploded view of the crank and the chain ring and all the components that make up the crank for the bicycle. Okay, so let's continue on with the assembly. Let's talk about 3D models and what we can do with them. Here on the front wheel we have a brake rotor which is used to stop the bicycle. If we open this up by ourselves we now have a good understanding of what 3D model is comprised of. Features, sketches, dimensions, etc. In this example we were determining the stress applied to the geometry around the bolt pattern. So we know that the brake rotor mounts onto the wheel hub on these six holes and this is where the most stress is going to be applied. ProEngineer can very quickly and easily animate and display that for us so we have a good understanding of where our high stress areas will be in this design. The mechanical analysis portion of ProEngineer is completely integral. We do not need to leave the ProEngineer environment to run this analysis. Okay, so now let's review. You will use a virtual kit of parts to create a model of your robot. Then, you will do static analyses to determine how it will behave under forces and pressures. You will also do dynamic analyses to test how it will move and how all its moving parts will function. So let's now do some exercises to learn how to virtual prototype.